Hi, welcome back to After Service and this is lesson number seven. How to compute for the duration of a liquid oxygen system. Liquid oxygen systems are used to provide bulk oxygen supply to patients who require long-term oxygen. Liquid oxygen is measured by its weight because we cannot measure its pressure. So some things to remember when you're dealing with liquid oxygen system calculations. One liter of liquid oxygen is equal to 860 liters of gaseous oxygen. Remember also that one liter of liquid oxygen is also equal to 2.5 pounds of gaseous oxygen. The formula in computing for the duration of a liquid oxygen system is written this way. This is again expressed in minutes. So the duration is equal to the amount of gas which is in liters simply divided by your flow rate which is expressed in liters per minute. So let's have our first sample problem. A patient using nasal cannula at 4 liters per minute has 4.5 liters of liquid oxygen in his tank. Compute for its duration. So the formula will be written as duration is equal to the amount of gas expressed in liters all over the flow rate. So in this problem, we are looking at 4.5 liters, but this is liquid oxygen. So we need to convert this into gaseous oxygen. So remember, uh, in the first part of this video, we've mentioned that one liter of liquid oxygen is equal to 860 liters of gaseous oxygen. So to convert this, we simply multiply 4.5 liters with 860, and then divide this by the flow rate. In this problem, we have four liters per minute. Okay, so I'm using your calculator. So 4.5 multiplied with 860 gives us 3,870. Then you divide this by four and we get 967.5 minutes. In your test question or in your licensure exam, you, you may be required to convert this into hours since this is a large number. So to, to convert this, 965, 967.5 minutes, our needed quantity is hours and we, and we know that every hour contains 16 minutes. So 967.5 divided by 60 is 16.125 hours. Again, you cannot say 0.125 hours, so convert this decimal so convert the numbers after the decimal point. So the duration for a 4.5 liters of liquid oxygen running at four liters per minute is 16 hours and seven minutes. Okay, so let's have a second example. A patient uses a liquid oxygen system at two liters per minute. The weight of the gas is 60 pounds, compute for its duration. So what we need to compute for its duration is the amount of gas express in liters but if you look back at the problem what you have is the weight of the gas expressed in pounds so the first step to compute for the duration is to convert the weight of the gas into the amount of the gas so how do you do that first we need to convert the weight of gas in liters of liquid oxygen so one liter of liquid oxygen is equal to 2.5 pounds so when we proceed with this formula we divide 60 with 2.5. 60 divided by 2.5 will give us 24 liters. Uh, this gives us 24 liters of liquid oxygen. Now we can proceed with the formula. The duration is therefore 24 liters of liquid oxygen multiplied by 860 liters of gaseous oxygen, since this is the conversion factor, divided by the flow rate of the oxygen, which is two, 300, 20 minutes. Again, we need to convert this. Let's try converting it into days. We know that 60 minutes comprises one hour and that one day is composed of 24 hours, 7.16 days. But again, there's no such thing as 0.16 days. So we need to convert 0.16 into hours. So let's have 0.16 days. And we know that uh, there are 24 hours in one day, 
84 hours. So your answer could be seven days and three hours. But if you're a geek like me, you can you can also convert 0.84 hours into minutes. And to do that, you multiply 0.84 with 60 since there are 60 minutes in one hour, 50 minutes. So a very complete answer to this question is seven days, three hours and 15 minutes. So let's have our last example before we end this video. How often should the oxygen supply department schedule refills for a patient in three liters per minute oxygen when the empty container's weight is six pounds and the full weight is 80 pounds? So in the previous examples, we didn't mention the actual weight of the liquid oxygen system when it is empty. So we, we are assuming that the empty liquid system is doesn't weigh anything or has zero weight but in this problem it is specified that the empty container weighs six pounds you have to get the difference between a full cylinder or a full container and an empty container so you subtract full with well the empty container so 80 minus 6 is 74 so that is 74 pounds so we don't use the weight but rather the amount of the gaseous oxygen so we need to convert this into liters of liquid oxygen so to do that 74 pounds you divide it with 2.5 pounds since there is 2.5 pounds for every liter of liquid oxygen 29.6 so this is 29.6 liters of liquid oxygen so you need to convert this again to gaseous oxygen by multiplying it with 860 liters and divide this with the flow rate which is 3 LPM 8485.33 this is minutes again you need to convert this into a different unit of measurement Uh, this type of liquid oxygen system would last for 5 days, 21 hours, and 21 minutes. Alright, so that's the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching and see you on the next lesson.